this is a really kind of emerging sensor market um, that that is becoming even more important as you think about a return to work. Um, we'll go into the types of environmental readings that that um, the market is is supporting right now. Um, but but you know, tied to the use case, um, you know, once integrated with BMS or BAS systems, you can greatly reduce your energy consumption, uh, your lighting consumption. Um, you can tailor your your lighting and heating kind of time on and off based on the actual needs of, of your office staff. Um, you can reduce your carbon footprint by allocating HVAC or lighting based on actual real-time demand, like I said, versus theoretical demand. Um, and all of this is, is in support of meeting or exceeding well and lead building standards, um, which, which are very important, right? Um, as, we, as we think about the types of environmental factors that are important to one's organization, um, utilization, uh, again, driven by that PIR sensor, uh, but other things such as temperature, humidity, air pressure, light, noise, uh, air quality by way of TVOC, which stands for Total Volatile Organic Compounds. Uh, and then you see ECO2 or CO2 um, as kind of the de facto air quality standards on the market. Um, you know, and really to, to, to FM systems and the market as a whole, the sweet spot comes in when you're able to combine data sets uh, and really look at things like how does air quality impact utilization? How does temperature impact utilization? Um, how does temperature and air quality play off one another? Very important as you think about the well-being of your of your staff. Um, one, one other thing I'll say quickly on environmental sensors is um, the market supports a couple of different approaches here, right? You can um, you can deploy what what I'll classify as an all-in-one sensor, so a single sensor that monitors many different environment, environmental metrics. Or if you don't need all the environmental metrics, um, there are other sensors that support, say, one or two of the metrics that that really kind of custom tailor um, your need. You know, this is this is incredibly interesting. Not from just the workplace environment, from just the really environment we're in right now. I know with me personally, I have young kids and the big talk right now is back to school. And in the US, the CDC is actually saying, you know, if you can have that, uh, I forget what the word is, but the ventilation, right? The proper ventilation, all those things that lend themselves to a healthy environment. I mean, not only do you get a better environment for work, but this is something where the world is really going right now. Is this something that kind of we've seen pushing more and more uh, in the status of the last 18 months, say? It really has. It, it's really picked up, you know, specifically over the last six to nine months. Um, and I think it's tied to that return to work. And and I think the other thing, you know, the other observation is that not all clients are aware that, that these sensor types exist, right? So there's a, a bit of education that takes place. But I think once they once they're able to see that data, um, they're, they're able to make some pretty informed decisions based on that. Um, the other thing I'll say from a deployment standpoint with environmental sensors, unlike the desk sensors, you don't really need uh, as an environmental sensor under every single workspace. Um, we generally represent uh, recommend a ratio of about t uh, one to ten. So for roughly every ten desk sensors, um, one environmental sensor generally suffices. And the placement of that sensor is important, right? You don't um, necessarily want to place a, a temperature sensor directly next to a, a heating duct or you know behind a hot printer or things like that. Um, so the placement does be, does does play a role there, uh, but, but once you know in, installed, it is quite effective, and um, we're seeing quite a bit of traction there. So here here's an example of how um, you know the an end product can come together. You have you see the um, environmental readings there on the right. Uh, those readings can be filtered based on day and times. So you can really drill down into how uh, temperature, air quality, pressure, noise. Um, played a role at any single given point in time. Um, additionally, once tied in with a floor plan, um, you're you're able to basically pick and choose which environmental sensors you want to render data against. So you can really drill down and hone in on your specific use case, um, things like that, very powerful.